Hey guys, it's Caleb. So today I'm standing um, in front of a piece of land that my partner and I bought a few months ago and we're actually planning to build our house on here and, and live here. Um, so I thought I'd just bring you along and show you the two acres that we've got here, show you the sort of projects that we've been doing over the last few months and um, yeah, basically just take you for a look. So come with me anyway and we'll, we'll go check it out. So as you can see it's just a sort of grass paddock mainly but we've got a couple of things going on over there. Um, over in the distance here you can see some sheep. So these are, well some of these are our sheep. They're very very rogue, <laughs> they're not tame at all. Um, and it's just because we're not out here very often, they only see us like probably once a week and only for like a bit of a visit to make sure they're all good and that type of thing. Um, so even though I'm standing very far away from them they're, they're trying to get away. The darker ones are actually called Arapawa sheep, so yeah, they're a bit of a different breed and quite interesting looking. So the boundaries of the land are out towards that fence you can see along here, and then out this fence right along. You can see Caroline over there picking up some sheep poo <laughs> to put around our trees, and the boundary goes along here and, and to the road. And this area here, sort of near the middle of the land is where we're planning to put a house so that's in the works but um, yeah it takes a little bit to get that sort of thing going and over here is the main stuff that we've been working on this little pod thing here um, we put out on the land a while back it's actually my parents and they use it for their business it's um, a pod that can be flown under a helicopter because it's really lightweight and dropped into deep remote areas of bush and people can stay in it so it's got like a couple of bunk beds, but we're just uh, using it to put our tools in and our wheelbarrow and things like that. This means we can lock it up and keep everything good. Um, and because we've got sheep out here, we put this um, water tank out here when we first came. We initially filled it up with water from um, another one of these on a trailer, but since then I've just put up this random looking tarpaulin on a bit of a bamboo frame. And that the idea is basically just to catch any rain um, there's a rock down in the middle here um, just so that it holds the tarpaulin in the middle and there's a few holes in it so that any rain that hits the tarpaulin sort of funnels to the middle and goes in. So I think it's working a bit but it's not working like amazingly although we haven't really had that much rain so yeah. Our boundary is this one over here but we put this fence in so that our sheep couldn't get into this whole area and what we've done is put native trees all the way along to the end there and that's basically so that we can grow this up into a big bushy area and it's going to block any southerly winds that come through because that's looking towards the south and kind of just create a bit more shelter. There's a few sort of white frost cloth so this one's covering a tree called a puriri tree and it um, doesn't like the frost when they're young so it's just to protect it. But all these trees like this one here it's probably up to about my waist height and when we planted it, it was literally like tiny, so they are growing quite well and they've made it through the summer, we're coming into autumn now, so yeah, they're starting to get a bit more rain. Now over here, I want to show you these, these are my passion fruit plants and I only put these here because passion fruits only sort of last like up to five years, so I thought while this is all maturing, there's a whole fence here that doesn't have any sheep or cows or anything up next to, so as you can see, there's passion fruits in there. They're actually flowering, which is a random time of year. They're not supposed to flower now. I think they're just a bit confused because they got planted too late. But these two here that I've shown you are just like a purple passion fruit, just a kind of a normal variety that you get. And then the one that's over here looks the same, but it's actually a golden passion fruit. So. You can see that there's some flowers down there as well. It's actually got a lot of flowers on it. But I've got this frost cloth there just while they're young just to make sure they're fine. I'm not too sure how much frost um, we get in this area but I'm assuming we will get a bit so may as well you know keep them safe over the winter at least for the first year while they get established. We've gone around the corner for another sort of 20 meters and just planted more native trees to create sort of a corner and that's going to shelter this big area in here 
which we're starting to put a bit of an orchard in. So we've planted these trees in here with little fences to stop the sheep eating them, but I'll show you what they are in a second. We'll just go over there. This little area is a random bit we sort of fenced off and we've planted some lucerne trees in there um, which would be some good sheep food uh, once they grow up a bit and they're also nitrogen fixing so it'll be good for the ground. We might turn this into an area where we can grow like pumpkins and all sorts of different things for the animals and for us and that type of thing so that'll be cool. Yeah, so over here, as I said, this is sort of where we're going to be planting some fruit trees. This one is a nectarine tree. It's autumn, so that's why it's starting to lose its leaves and um, not look that good, but it is fine. It will come away good again in the spring. This tree over here, again, is losing most of its leaves in the uh, autumn. Put some mulch and some sheep poo around the base, but it's called a damson plum, so it's a really good preserving plum. We've got this cool tree over here as well. This is called a Casimiro tree. It's a bit more of like a tropical tree. They grow these fruits similar to a, like a sugar apple or a cherimoya, but they're a bit smaller. So I haven't actually tried them, but they look quite cool. And the last fruit tree that we've planted is just this apple tree over here, which is a Royal Gala. So it seems to be doing good. Eventually we are gonna have chickens and big veggie gardens and things like that which I'm super excited about but we'll wait until you know we're living out here before we get too hard out into that type of thing but for now it's it's cool just to get some fruit trees in and some other trees in to you know be established for when we move in so fingers crossed we're going well we will hopefully have moved in by Christmas this year but I'll keep you guys updated on that and any other projects as well I'll bring you along for the ride and show you what we're up to Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you next time. See you later.